as the offensive coordinator. We know Coach Sperano likes to run it. But I ask you, Mel, Chris, could the Dolphins take a quarterback here? <laughs> they can. Chad Henney's been wildly inconsistent. They added Brandon Marshall. We realize he has his own problems. They have Devon Bess. I still think Ricky Williams can play if you just ask him to play four years from now. He's got that kind of body. Ricky Williams can still play. We saw him live last year. I think they need a quarterback, too. you got Andy Dalton, Ryan Mallett, if you want to reach. Bottom line is you got quarterbacks still on the board. you got Pouncey as well. So uh, Miami could go a different direction here. They don't have to go for just need. They can say, okay, we need a signal caller. And all these guys are coming off the board. Let's take one. Obviously, you talked about the center position with Pouncey. Look at go the center guard, Albert like Pouncey. That's been a struggling position for them. Joe Berger was there this year. They tried numerous years to get that type of guy. They're going to go with Chad Henney forward. Maybe now they get Pouncey to help him out. With the 15th pick in the 2011 NFL Draft, the Miami Dolphins select Mike Pouncey, Center of Florida. Well, the seventh SEC player, but more interesting, the second Pouncey, twin brother Marcus, Center, great player, as good a rookie, you know, except for Indomitian Sue, may have been the most impressive rookie, with apologies to Bradford, that we saw last year. So the Dolphins, who once upon a time had a nice center named Dwight Stevenson, who went on into the Hall of Fame, not to mention Jim Langer, are hoping that Pouncey can look like his twin brother, who played for the Steelers and made it all the way to the Super Bowl, albeit hurt. And I definitely think this is a center. A lot of people think he's more of a guard. I think size-wise... He's a perfect center, 6'5", a little bit over 300 pounds. We had him in the outback bowl in Tampa against Penn State. This guy can pull. He can get on the perimeter and run. He's going to be a factor on the second level. You have Jake Long now at left tackle, Vernon Carey at right tackle. Now you got another first-round draft choice. He struggled at games this year, snapping the football, was on the ground a little bit, but he didn't have Tim Tebow playing quarterback. There were games he had three different quarterbacks on three successive plays. The Gators struggled last year. But I really like what this guy brings to your team. A, energy. And this guy loves to play football. He will compete. Might be as good an athlete at this position as there is in the country. Not many centers can pull around the horn and make these types of plays. A couple years ago, when you watch he and his brother, there's a reason why Tim Tebow had 60 red zone rushing touchdowns. But look at this athletic ability right here, Mel. How many guys can do that at the center position? Miami added a leader, a blue chip player. He's from Lakeland, Florida. This guy's played guard center. I even saw him play defensive tackle for the Gators. I love bouncing. Well, and in the family, when they get together to eat, look there, I went 18 to the Steelers. Try to top that. Well, Mike went 50 to the Dolphins. And he's not as good as Marquise. And Marquise went 18 last year. I think Mike's got to call his brother Marquise and thank him because bottom line is the bloodlines help. Marquise Pouncey was the second best rookie in the NFL to Indomitian right, Sioux. Right, right. Mike Pouncey's not Marquise. He goes higher to his brother, and the bottom line is Miami passes on a quarterback. What does this say about Chad Henney? Andy Dalton was there. Quarterbacks that didn't have Andy Dalton's grade have already been picked. Case in point, Christian Ponder. They passed on Dalton. Is this a, a, a vote for Henny saying, hey, we're going to help you out. We're going to get the center. We'll see. It's a vote to say that we're playing the Jets in New England. We better try to power it and keep the ball away from them. We'll be back with the Redskins on the clock. And you got to block Marceau.